Alright, I'm back, and apparently, um, I had already destroyed the blocks with that switch. I guess I didn't remember doing it. And, uh, that little message of up, down, left, right? Yeah. I think that that's supposed to be what we're... I think that's what we're supposed to do here. Because it said middle room, and, um, I, this is the only middle room I could think of, so... Up, down, left, right. Yeah, that's... wow. Okay, in theory, that's cool, but, like... You have to realize, this is a Mario game, so who would think of that? Like, really? I mean, you know, I was thinking, okay, you know, gotta find another P-Switch, gotta find a key, gotta find some kind of... ...obscure item, which will enable me to get to a place and do this, because... ...you know, it's, it's a Mario game, come on, man. Like, the custom stuff is cool, but... ...I've never been one for... ...puzzly-type levels. I will admit that was... ...awesome that you hacked that in, but still, yeah, man, come on. Come on, you know, have, have a have a little compassion here. But anyway, as I was saying in the last video, before I was consumed by the rage of puzzles, my friend and I are planning a trip to the beach, and, like, we just, we do deserve it. Because, like, to be quite honest, the college, it makes us want to rip our hair out sometimes. And, um, you know, I got this, I got my, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to be, you know, making money off of my uh, my online business I talked about, but I have, you know, the other business with my friends, which causes me to rage, and he has work, which causes him to rage, so, you know, it's not good to be pissed off all the time, but it's not like we do it intentionally, it's not like we're, we wake up and we're like, oh man, you know, let's just, let's just be negative and, you know, you know, complain and whine all day, but it's not like that, but at the same time, if we're ticked off and we don't like our situation and we can't immediately change it, we're not just gonna walk around and be like... Oh crap, it's red. Alright, we gotta kill it when it's white. We gotta beat up whitey. Which luckily, you know, there's no such thing as discrimination against white people, so... Take that, whitey. But, um... But yeah, we're not gonna sit there... Stupid thing. We're not gonna sit there and be like, oh, you know, it's a... It's a great day. Or anything. We're gonna, you know, if we're gonna be pissed off, we're gonna be pissed off, but at the same time, going down to the beach and having just, like, I don't know how long we're gonna stay, even if it's for a day, man, just to run down, you know, get in the ocean for a while, walk on the beach, you know, do a little shopping, go to uh, one of the amusement parks or something, just to, just to, like, clear our heads. It's gonna, okay, I am not gonna get a feather, then lose a feather like that. <sighs> maybe I am, you know what, maybe I am. Okay, no I'm not, so screw you, game. Yeah, it's gonna be good to get down there for just like a few days, or even a day, because, like, I'm just so not looking forward to getting back to typical college life, because I got so much crap I gotta do, and like, how come that didn't appear in my item box? Yeah, that's bull crap. Okay, there it is, but... Uh, okay. Oh boy. Oh, pfft. I thought it was barriered off. Dang it! Mario, stop. Mario! Alright. Hey! Hey! Come back here, you piece of crap. Oh boy. Alright, this is creative. This is really, really creative. Aw, freaking you were transparent. As transparent as a liberal politician. Stupid piece of garbage. Oh, and I missed it too, but I, I managed to steer myself right into danger. Can I just... Yeah, I can. Again, I make really easy things really complicated. Oh, boy. Alright. Should be, hopefully, just one more hit. Ha! Dead. Take your stupid freaking flamboyant dragon with you, you jerk off. But anyway, that castle wasn't too bad, aside from the little, you know, puzzle thing that I couldn't figure out, which, looking back, was cool, but was, you know, still, it's a puzzle, so. <sighs> I need a liquid refreshment. Read this cutscene yourself.
Alright. Cool stuff. Alright, we are going to... Man, this is World 6 we're going to. We are just moving right along pretty gingerly through, you know, Brutal Mario. Night Galaxy Train. I'm on the night train. Man, that's a good song. That's back when Guns N' Roses was good. That's back when, like, you know... Well... Okay, we're on the night train. This is creative. What game is this originally from? Anyone know? This could be just like a reskin of something from a Mario game. I mean, I know Mario has had similar stuff in it. Oh, you stupid piece of garbage. But yeah, man. Guns N' Roses, man. That's exactly... That, that is a prime example of what can happen to a band if there is a... If, some, if there's a flake in it, you know? I talk all the time about dedication and owning up to your responsibilities and doing what you signed up to do. But if you want to be a flake because you think it makes you cool, go ahead, you know, because that is one of the, that is one of the, uh, the greatest rock bands of, uh, you know, of the last few decades. And if they, you know, if they had had a, <coughs> a front man who was, oh boy, why did I just do that? And if they had had a front man who was a little more dedicated, they would, uh, they would have probably been able to crank out a few more albums and a better, a better newest album, but... You know, I, as a musician, I've been in bands with people who are flakes and who don't give a crap, and it's not fun. It's really not. Because, you know, it's just like the business never I talk about all the time. You know, here you are, and you're pouring all your hard work in, and you're dedicated, and you feel strongly about this, and other people are just like, oh, screw it. I have no idea what to do here. Oh, my God. Wow. Whoops. No, I want to cut Bowser's head off too. Dang it. Yeah, screw it. He is too quick for me and my woeful sword skills. I am not a samurai. I'm not a samurai. I'm like I, I'm. You know, I I I love uh, I love stuff like that. But I love samurai movies. As we played Chomp Chomp Panic 2. It's about time. The first one was like worlds ago. Oh hey, it's Big World. Oh hey, a poison mushroom. <sighs> but yeah, so going out later and hopefully gonna pick up a game or two. And um, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Not really sure what I'm gonna get, but. It's always fun to know that you have some cash to spend and you can just go out and buy a game. It's really fun. I like Big World. Hey, there are Yoshi's Island clouds in the background. Hi, Mario! Aw, oh, bull crap. Hey, another feather. I love the mixing up of sprites. We got the Super Mario 3 Big World, the Yoshi's Island background. Oh my god, and there's that thing. Oh my god, I... Okay. Don't panic. I have time. I don't have time. Oh my god, time is... But an illusion! Oh, no, I, I'm really keeping this cape. Really gonna... Really gonna keep this cape. If my life... Like, my life depends on it. Get out of here, fatty with water face. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Alright. Cross the finish line in a funny way. Because that's just how Mario gets down. Alright, we should have time for one more quick level. Careful. Lightning. Thank you. Love the fractured English there. I think that's called English. Oh no. Oh no. Cape, why have you betrayed me? Cape, stop betraying me. Okay, cannot go that way, so... I assume I go down here, since it is the only viable option to... Okay. Okay, what does this do? That's another feather, which I don't need, because I have two of them. 
suppose I go up this way. Okay, guess I do. I better just take this one slow. So I recorded some more- Ah, you piece of crap with your switch palaces. You piece of crap with your flying me into electricity. Yeah, so I recorded some more, um, Dungeon Lords last night, and people- people like that game, man. Like, I like it too. I was kind of afraid people would be like, What are you playing this game for? It sucks. It got all these bad ratings and everything. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I was kind of afraid people were gonna be like, What are you playing this game for? It's got all these bad ratings. But, you know, it's like a friend of mine. You know, he and I were talking about games, and it's like, you know, when a game is good, People aren't going to really give a crap what the critics had to say about it, because if a game is good and it's fun, you know, maybe it didn't have the best graphics, or maybe it didn't have the best storyline, or the best detail, or all the, any of these things, but it can still be a good game, you know? So that's what matters, is it? I like it, and people like it. Oh, we are at a... Uh, this is another boss, isn't it? Wow, this guy just loves his bosses. Oh my... <laughs> what custom horror awaits me here? Ah, Hey, it's that Mega Man thing, I think. Isn't this like a Mega Man boss? Aww. Dang it, I can't even... Like... He's hurting me and he's just entering the room. What does that say about how this battle is gonna go? Look at this. I can't even, like... He's hurting me and he's just entering the room. Like, you couldn't just open a door and walk in and be like, Hey, here I am, let's do battle. You have to... Enter from the side and oh my god, in various parts and all right, you rage-inducing piece of stool, you freaking stop hurting me by entering a room. How about okay? Oh my god, this is this is why I don't like Mega Man games. Okay. No, no, we were on a good streak. Let's. No, 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 no. Okay, now he's here. Can I jump on him? No, I officially cannot. Oh, now he's gonna do this little number. Oh, freaking stupid boss. I don't like this boss at all. Again, I just don't like... Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and stop here. When we come back, we'll fight the rage-inducing stupid Mega Man boss. Thanks for watching. See you next time.